Welcome to our lecture online. In the previous video, we saw that if we're dealing with a very rare condition, in such a way that only 0.1% of the population that you're testing for has the disease, or the condition you're checking for, and we have a test that is 98% sensitive and 99% specific, what will be the probability that if you test positive, that you actually have the disease? And so we saw that in that case, it was 8.93%. But now we're going to do it using the table format. And we discovered that the probability that you actually have the condition, the disease that you're testing for, if you test positive, is going to be equal to the cell number one divided by cell number five. So it's going to be equal to this divided by this. Now this here is the case where this is the truth column. So these are the people who have the disease. These are the people that are healthy. These are the, these are the test columns. These indicate positive tests. These indicate negative tests. So what goes in here is for those that are people that have the condition, if they test, they will test positive. That goes in here. We take that number and we divide that by all the people that test positive because some will test positive that actually do have the condition, but some will test positive that do not have the condition that are healthy. We have to add those together. That becomes a denominator. So let's calculate what's in those cells right here. So first of all, for those people that have the disease, it'll be one out of a thousand. What's the probability that they'll test positive? Well, that depends on the sensitivity. 98%, so 98% of one is 0 0.98. What is the probability that they will test false? Well, that way we have to look for false positive. It's 1% of those that are healthy. Since 999 are healthy, 1% of that would be 9.99. When you add these two together, that adds up to 10.97. So that's the total number of subjects that will test positive, basically 11. Only one will test positive that actually has the disease. So what we do now is we take number one, which is 0 0.98, and we divide it by 10.97. And that should come out to the exact same number that we had over there. It looks close. So let's see what we get. So we take 0 0.98 and divide it by 10.97. And we get 8.93, just as expected. 8.93%. So you can see that we can use the table format. And it gives you the exact same result. So whatever method you like better, that's how you'll do it. And that's how it's done.